Hey, it's Paul with MakeUseOf.com, and in this video, we are talking about the Edifier S360 dB. This is a 2.1 channel speaker system with a sleek and modern wood finish design that provides high quality audio for small to medium sized rooms. And you may already be familiar with this because this is actually the upgraded version of the S350 dB, which came out a few years ago. These speakers look to deliver improved performance, build quality, and connectivity. And it actually offers a lot of other features that are typically found on more expensive sound systems, which of course includes good sound quality, a powerful subwoofer, and a variety of other connectivity options. And whether you're streaming music, watching movies, or monitoring audio, this can be a really great choice to add to your setup. These speakers look great and have excellent build quality throughout. And on my dark wooden desk here, these speakers look especially good. The satellite speakers have a very similar wood finish on its top and sides that gives it the appearance that it's almost actually built into my desk. While its front cover is made out of plastic, it's perfectly complemented by this titanium dome tweeter, which with its screws and its more aggressive styling actually makes the speakers look a lot more premium with a mix of industrial, modern, and a retro look all together. The left and right satellite speakers use a hi-fi class planar diaphragm tweeter that has a three fin design that's very reminiscent of the retro Douglas DC-3 propeller driven airliner. Below them are four inch aluminum mid-range drivers that have a bronze exterior finish. These are a half inch larger than the previous Edifier 350 dB. Both of the satellite speakers measure 140 by 253 by 177 millimeters, while the subwoofer measures 275 by 299 by 322 millimeters. With its built-in amplifier and all of its inputs, the right speaker is our primary one. It also features the infrared receiver. Located on its front at the very bottom is a small display that identifies the current input. It's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. But I feel like this is one area where Edifier could have taken it a step further, perhaps showing you your volume levels or maybe even a visual EQ. On its right hand side, the right speaker has three knobs which are located vertically. From top to bottom, we have treble, bass, and volume. The first two knobs have adjustments from negative six to plus six with a fixed middle position that they snap into. In contrast, the volume knob does not have a fixed zero or 100%. Instead, it can be turned infinitely in either direction. However, each turn does have its own click where it turns into place to identify an increase or a decrease. Additionally, with the volume knob, that's where we can actually press it in to switch our inputs. Though it's not as convenient, of course, as using the remote as you have to cycle through each option until you get to the one you want. As this is our active speaker, most of the connectivity is done here, making cable management much easier. And located on its back, that's where we have from top to bottom, PC, aux, opt, and cox, as well as our left speaker out. And on the bottom left hand side, on the back, we have our power switch to completely power off the entire system. And to its right, there's a non-removable power cord. But I would say it would have been nice if the cable was removable in case it ever gets damaged and needs to be replaced. <laughs> Unlike the right speaker, the left has the Edifier logo in place of the information display that we see on the right one. Aside from its speaker input on the back, the left speaker does not have any controls or additional connectivity. 
Besides those differences, the left and right speakers look pretty much identical. Moving on to our subwoofer. It has the same dark wooden sides and front black plastic design as we saw with our satellite speakers. This is an eight inch front firing speaker and it has a bass reflex port on the right hand side for vibration free bass performance. While the satellite speakers are also large, the subwoofer requires a little extra thought with its placement and with it located against my wall underneath my standing desk here, which does have rather narrow legs, the subwoofer is relatively large and takes up almost half the depth and about one third the width available underneath. So at times this can prevent me from sliding as far forward as I would like to, just because I have to be mindful of the subwoofer that's underneath my legs. But most interestingly, this is a wireless subwoofer, so it just has the one power cord on the back. So I don't have to place it right here next to my satellite speakers, and I'm not tethered to cables. I can put it anywhere else. The subwoofer wirelessly communicates with the active right speaker using a 5.8 gigahertz EV01S module, which transmits uncompressed wireless digital audio without delay. And again, this is probably one of the biggest upgrades that you get moving from the S350 to the S360. Setting up the Edifier S360 dB is very simple. In its box, you'll find the power cable for the subwoofer and an audio cable to connect the two satellite speakers. You'll also find its remote, which is called the RC600A. To set it up, simply connect the two satellite speakers with the cable, plug them in, and then plug in the subwoofer, and then the entire setup is ready to go. It will automatically connect and pair together. For Bluetooth, the S360DB uses Bluetooth 4.1 with APTX. This gives you high quality streams with low latency. Switching to the Bluetooth input on the speaker enables the speakers to be searched for and paired with. Pairing is quick and I can reliably play music from any of my connected devices, whether it's my phone or computer, from just about anywhere in this small apartment without any drops in signal. But with its $500 price tag, it's a little bit unfortunate that we don't see NFC connectivity. It's not a huge inconvenience, but at this price point, it is kind of something we would expect. And with regards to the remote, I mean, I guess the essentials, right? It feels all right in hand, but I do have some mixed feelings about it. While I can use the remote from just about any part of my room, I did notice that the receiver can easily be obstructed. The remote seems to need direct line of sight in order to work reliably. And with it in hand, it's about three and a half inches wide by about half an inch thick. We've got the plastic at the top here with our controls, which are rubberized in the middle and on the back we have this light gray plastic bottom with the IR receiver on the front hand side. We just have the one logo for Edifier at the top. On the back here as well is where we can remove this cover to reveal our battery, which is a CR2025. I probably would have preferred a more traditional rectangular shape instead. And another thing is with a lot of remotes, especially with TVs now switching over to USB-C for charging, it just makes this feel a little bit more dated than it is. Also, I wouldn't necessarily say it feels cheap, but with the plastic at the top here, it does smudge a little bit. And obviously this being all plastic, it doesn't feel very premium. But of course, what's most important is that the controls are easy to use and they're clearly labeled. The remote has buttons for power, volume, playback, and inputs. You aren't able to see which input is active on the remote, nor can you see your current volume level, which is a little bit unfortunate as well. Also, you don't have any controls for your treble or bass. So if you want to make those adjustments, you have to actually go up to the speaker and change them there. Now, basically everything we set up to this point would be meaningless if these speakers didn't sound good. Luckily, sound quality here is very impressive. No matter what I listened to, everything sounded clear, balanced, and very dynamic with plenty of bass and treble. The massive 75 watt, eight inch subwoofer perfectly complements the two satellite speakers without overpowering or distorting the mids or highs. If you prefer that flat sound, keeping the bass and treble set to zero does a good job, which actually makes it a really good choice if you're like me, you're monitoring audio, whether it's for making videos like these, podcasts, or anything else where you just wanna hear the natural sound that came from your recording. On the other hand, when it comes to consuming media, whether it's music or watching movies, I like to set the settings of both knobs to plus four. 
Though in truth, the bass is so powerful at that level, I didn't want to be as obnoxious to my neighbors, I would probably cap the bass to just plus two at most. And there's no question, if you like bass, these speakers will get the job done. The Edifier 360 dB is probably one of the best sounding 2.1 speaker systems that you can buy for under $500. It is pretty expensive, and there are a lot of other cheaper options, which might come close in performance, but they probably won't look as nice, and they also won't have those extra conveniences, especially with the wireless subwoofer. If you're looking to save a little bit and you want similar performance, you can opt for the 350 dB, as we mentioned. It's not gonna have that wireless subwoofer, but basically the same sound profile. And so the Edifier 360 dB is a great choice for anyone looking for a premium, powerful, and versatile speaker system. Thank you again for checking out this video. This has been Paul with MakeUseOf.com. Let us know your thoughts on these speakers in the comments down below. And until the next one, we'll catch you later.